This episode of White Paper Podcast is proudly sponsored by Kaoshi. Kaoshi, your go-to for international money transfers. Convenient, affordable, made for you. www.kaoshi.network Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this amazing episode of White Paper Podcast. <laughs> it is always a joy and a delight to just share with you, to connect with you on whatever platform you're engaged on, whether you're watching or listening or just waka passing. That basically means just going through social media feeds. But I'm happy that you're hooked at the stock for the next one. Right. This is the warmest, the weightiest, and the wisest podcast on the side of eternity. And we're bringing you amazing voices who are hilarious, but very wise and sensible. And today, our guest is very special for many reasons. She has energy, she has vibe, she has cruise, she has sense, she has style. She's a fashionista and she brings the fashion even when it's not Easter. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, podcaster, writer, communicator, uh, fashionista, hey. fine girl, Gen Z model. You know the vibes. <laughs> you know the vibes. Miriam. Mariam. Dan. Hamoud. <laughs> You know the actual vibe. <laughs> you know the vibe. It's the hype for me. <laughs> like it's the whole hype. Yeah. No. What the day has been like. They don't know. They don't know. know. It's a very special day. I know. I know. I'm I'm very excited to be here. Very honored to be here. You know, I can't lie. Only big babes and big men and big I women know, are on this seat. So that she <laughs> that she called me up. I'm like God. God, thanks. <laughs> God, I made it. I'm making it. Oh, <laughs> Thank I'm you. Happy. I'm There's really glad. The joy and all. Of course. There's a lot to talk about. Yeah. We'll be back right after this short break. All right, so we are back with the MDH, the Miram Den Habu, and all this energy and all this zest. Yeah. I think that's just something I appreciate about you. The main thing I appreciate about you. I think you're generous. I think you're intelligent. Thank you. I think you're very present. Yeah. Right? You're very caring. And let me tell you, the first time I ever connected with you was on Instagram. Yeah. I didn't know who you were or anything. Yeah. But by the effort to show know them. So you had created this very fruity post. It was like carousel. It was about a church girl or something. Oh yeah, pastor's life. Pastor's yeah. Life like <laughs> they tell me the, the the title of the story was my pastor's wife made a sex tape and mm -hmm. it wasn't with my pastor. Uh -huh. And it was a story. It was a story of um you know the prophet that God asked to marry the harlot. Um, what's his name again? Hosea. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, it was. Like, it was that story. Yeah, I was but, yeah. like, who does this? Like, they you know this kind of <laughs> yeah. sensational and controversial. Things. <laughs> yeah. But the message was clear. Like, yeah. You landed. If mm -hmm. somebody was a mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So if somebody followed through. Yeah, you would like, get to the end about to forgiveness. End, I think. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, redemption. Yeah. Redemption. Like, forgiveness. God's love. love yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, Fantastic like, that you remember that. Because right, that, that was the first post. Mm. So I was like, oh, who's this person that is writing so pretty mm. to me? This person that should be the uh, handle. And then I got there and I saw all the life and energy mm. and stuff. Do you, know, do you know my first impression? So I think I think I knew about you and PLT from your YouTube channel. Whoa. Yeah, okay. way back. Yeah. So a couple of times like, I got watched some of the videos you had done about love. I was like, these guys are too cute. These guys are good looking cute. Mm, come off it. So yeah, yeah, I'd watched a couple of videos back I then. See. And so when I saw your your handle, I was like, oh my God, I know him. Superstar celebrity YouTuber. So yeah. <laughs> Hey, come on now. Uh, <laughs> so I taste nice. The star shine bright. Come on now. Soup or star. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, so I felt that was really cool. Mm. And um, I don't remember when next we connected, but over the last Subsequently, yeah. two or so years, we yeah. just feel like you've been around. Yeah. And that's that life that I'm talking about. I, I love life. Yeah. When I say I love life, I mean like 
you know, the Jai Jai thing. I mean, uh, I love it when people are authentic mm-hmm. and they're living from the mm-hmm. core yeah. and they're vibrant yeah. and energetic. I'm not saying mm-hmm. people have to be loud all the time. Yeah. Right. But I love that. Yeah. And so I see that with you. Mm-hmm. So talk to us about your journey so far. You know, just have you become this person because you're a lawyer. You're in the, yeah. you're in the corporate world. Yeah. You're a podcaster. Yeah. You write. Voice actor. Yeah. yeah so Voice of yeah. artist, content creating, yeah, all of that. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Continue. But you got it. You got it. All, all of that. So I think that um, to, to give a bit more context to my personality before what what I am doing. So, you know, first of who I am before what I am doing, I think we just take a take a couple steps back to my salvation story. Awesome. Right. Um, so before before I gave my heart to Christ. I used to be a very angry kid. I used to have anger anger issues. And I was proud about it. So it wasn't just anger. It was like uh, anger that you're proud angry. about. Yeah, I used to tell people, I have anger issues. Like, why are you even pissing me off? Like, why are you trying, you know? And then I went for a teenager's camp. And I just saw teenagers that loved the Lord and they were just so happy. I was like, where are you guys from? <laughs> like, But they were just so genuine with their hearts for God. And they were just so happy. Like... I'd grown up in the church, but no one needed to preach it. Another sermon to me. I remember going to bed that night in the camp and saying, God, it feels like these guys have a different type of relationship with you. And they're just so happy. They're just a kind of joy. And Mm. I want that. Like, Mm. I don't want to be angry anymore. Right. So a lot of people can't imagine like my happy, joyful self, you know, being that very angry child. But my siblings can't remember, you know, my friend, I used to fight. I used to beat boys. Like... (laughs) I used to be boys in secondary school. Oh and and yeah, I used to, it was like a kind of drums, boys brand. As in, used to beat boys. Hey, I, see, I, see, I see where you're going to. I see where you're going. Real life beating. <laughs> real life. Like <laughs> real, real life. And honestly, I used to do that just because I knew that like guys are very egoistic. And I wanted to puncture that. Year. I was like, who are you? Like, I'll deck you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, all things I didn't, away. yeah, all things are become, like, excuse me, I can't, I can't even fight, you. no, uh, I'm sorry, no, I, I, I can't, I don't know if I, see, Peter, they will beat me outside now, <laughs> 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 they will beat me, <laughs> I don't, at all, so anyway, you know, fast forward, um, I went to this camp, and, you know, I just told God, I, I don't want to be angry anymore, I just really want to be happy, right, and, over a period of time, I saw how God changed that anger, moved that anger to joy, mm-hmm. right? So he replaced that anger. And I could see how, like, you know, the enemy just really clouded that yeah, joy, joy with anger as mm-hmm. well. So I think, for one, that that has really molded my personality, right? And so from, like, being this angry kid who had, like, dark clouds over her head, now I'm this really joyful person that's, like, sunshine and rainbows, you know, when she's around people or, like, just outside of by herself right so i think that um, i think that just really coming to know christ and accept him and receive him in my heart yeah. has like huge significance on who i am now yeah. right so evolving into um you know my law journey and what i do as a creative right um where do i start from, from like the podcast right. part <laughs> So, okay, with, with, with podcasting, right? So, I mean, I was in uni. I knew that. So, I think for law, really, was that my natural skills or abilities mm. were in line with the skills needed to be a lawyer. Yeah. You know, I was quite outspoken, confident. I knew how to argue, how to read, write, all these things, you know. And it was like, okay, I mean, it looks like, you know, these are my strengths. And might as well just capitalize on it, you know, and then um, growing that space, right? So, but then with creativity, um, I remember being... I remember being in Southampton and and I'd been it was just a really interesting time with my walk with God and I was seeing stories come alive and I would say God oh my God I wish people knew that Bible stories are this fun right I wish you know people um how can I tell people about you know just how exciting it is you know to read about Jesus or like you know all the Old Testament stories and um it was that period as well. I was getting a lot of compliments on my voice. You know, I remember I would send voice notes. I'm a voice note junkie. Like, <laughs> I would send, I love sending and receiving voice notes, right? So I would send voice notes to my friends um, or new friends or get on a phone call with, you know, someone new and they'd be like, oh, are you on OAP? Do you do radio? All that kind of good stuff. So I was getting that compliment pretty like often awesome. around that time as well. Yes, yeah, so in my mind, I was like, ah. 
<laughs> That's nice though. Now the reason this voice. Ah, she may not use this voice to talk about Jesus like this. And balance two and two. <laughs> so um, I think I really and and then a conversation with one of my friends. You know, I was saying I don't know about YouTube. I don't know about podcast. And he was a like, girl. Mm. Literally, you just said it. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. this is this is this is something that that comes quite natural to you. You have a fantastic voice. You know, and then there is this perspective to the bible yeah. you know and this storytelling yeah. skill that you have mm -hmm. let's make it happen mm -hmm. you know how about run a podcast so i think that's how the podcast journey started that yeah that's how the podcast journey started but then creating content um and every other thing that way i think that one can be natural yeah, yeah. i think i think yeah i think maybe one of my sisters you know she, she had a business or she has a business right and she needed someone to manage the page and i'm like talk to me <laughs> you know and then i kind of started like building from from that end you know giving creative direction following up to that so that's kind of how my creative journey started Quite an interesting story. Listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen <for me. laughs> All right. Now, you said earlier, and thanks for being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. because thanks a lot to be vulnerable. Yeah. I want to imagine there was an award winning voice beta. Don't say this outside, guys. Uh, it's uh, secret. It's like. <laughs> A voice. Then <laughs> Peter, you use your voice. I'm only, I'm only saying hey. Should I say outside? Say yeah, reduce your voice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but but you said you used to be angry. Yeah. Do you think you're fly? Fly. Yeah, I think you fly. Fly like the actual insect. Like a bird. Do you think you're fly? From angry. Oh, I'm angry. <laughs> That took me a second. That took me a second. You think you're fly like that? Took me a second. Angry Bird. So I was going to ask, you, <laughs> are you one of the voices in Angry Birds? Because you know. No, the Lord has delivered me. Oh, things, oh, things are passed away. I know, I know, no, I know no anger anymore in the name of yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, All hallelujah. Right. Now, let's talk about that. One of the things I saw in what you were saying mm -hmm. was service. You yeah. served your way into yeah. discovering yourself. Mm. So voice notes, helping your sister with her pain. Yeah, yeah. Telling Bible stories. Yeah. Wanting people to experience mm -hmm. the same joy they yeah. experience. So service. Mm -hmm. Right. And in the few years I've known you, like I've just seen that you're there for people. Yeah. You give to people. You how did that come about and why is that important to you? So I I I I genuinely share with my friends, right, that um for one, serving at church, for example, um, is one of the best ways to harness a skill mm -hmm. and to overcome any fright, right? It's it's such a training ground. So serving in any in any capacity, right? Service is training, literally, and, and many people don't see it that way. So service is training. So um from, from secondary school, I used to what I used to do so many things like acting, singing, you know, so many things, but it was such a training ground because almost all the things I used to do then when I started doing them in public, it was like, oh, you've been doing it for a long time and you're so yeah. good at this. Yeah. But then I made so many mistakes in secondary oh, school yeah. along the line, right? Essentially, service is just a really good training ground. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's like the back end, right? To harness that skill, to build that image or that character, right? And in service, you get to pour out mm -hmm. and get to be fielding as well, right? You know, so I enjoy volunteering for things that I'm capable of volunteering for, right? Because <laughs> you then learn, you then learn, you then meet people, yeah. right? Um, and you know a lot of people. Apparently. But Peter, I'm nothing compared to the people you know, Sha. Um, yeah. Nothing you mean, um, <laughs> if I know one, you know 10. <laughs> if I know two, you know 2,000. You know people yeah. and people know you. Because you're doing such an impactful work, right? And you're impacting so many lives. Um, and that's beyond Nigeria or Lagos, right? Literally on a, on a global scale, right? So you're pastoring, you're teaching, you're writing, you're, you know, you're producing music, right? So just different expressions and then literally meeting people at their different needs. And so definitely you're reaching so many people. Thank you so much. And people much. are knowing you yeah, too. <laughs> So about meeting, you're talking about meeting people. Yeah. So 
training. Yeah, ground. yeah, yeah. So it's it's all it's all just um a fantastic training ground, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I, I think that I think that as you serve, mm -hmm. you should pour. Yeah. So serve, yeah. pour, serve, pour, and so then I appreciate you're going. that. But that sounds to me like the result of reverse engineering. I feel mm. like as you've grown, yeah, and you've come into your own, mm -hmm. you've come into your own. I see, I see the reading. I see, I see, I see, I see the reading so, you're doing. Oh, that. Since you so hey, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me change my tone. Uh, <laughs> so, I feel like you're joining the dots backwards. But right. When you started, mm -hmm. you didn't really, you're not really thinking about your know, training ground. Mm. You were just given. Yeah. So, what's that thing that spurs you on? That makes you go, oh yeah, podcast. Oh now let's tell the story. Okay now let's give fashion tips. Okay now let's create content. Okay now let's. Mm. What's what's that thing? Where you get it from? I'm like, I'm very, I really want to be like it's God, though. But <laughs> I mean, of course, we all know ultimately. that. We all know that ultimately, right? Really and truly, that that's it. But I think that God has so graciously um, made me a really colorful character. <laughs> You know, or just a really like he looked at the whole page and he was like, hmm, Splash. let's do some yellow, let's do some orange, let's do some colors, right? And so they're just like different expressions of this color, yeah. so to speak, yeah. right? And you know, and 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 they even find expression of these gifts or these ideas then find expression very differently, right? So I I would accord, I would really accord it to God's creativity. <laughs> <laughs> happening <laughs> happening yeah and then just 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 i think it's also a thing of um when you really love something or someone yeah you kind of like you're just itching to tell more people about it mm -hmm. right same way you know when you love god somehow you find yourself you know kind of the conversation will eventually just slide to something about god right or when you're in love with someone or you're in love with a thing for ball right he kind of just you know stares somehow and you start talking about something you really love so i think with um studying the bible that was just something i found so exciting and i'm like oh my god imagine if the story happened in today's day yeah. right or even with, with fashion right when, when when i come up with some really interesting yeah. outfit i didn't think oh what about you know do people know the day that they can combine these colors or this style or something so i think yeah amazing you spoke about podcasts. So mm -hmm. about I listen about that. So, I, I mean, I've listened to, I know the Tamo story. Yeah. Like last year, two years ago. Yeah. Last and then year. I listened to the Gideon mm -hmm. one. And the Gideon was like, what is this? Like, listen, you worked. Listen. Like, you worked. Yeah. yeah. So, that the degree of excellence, the precision, the vocal variety, the texture, the application to modern mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. that is, your mind must be as in like you're thinking in pictures, but then you're delivering audio. Audio, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually pretty difficult to do. Yeah. Because it means you have to think visually mm -hmm. and then auditory. Interpret that in audio. Yeah. And so scripturally. Yeah. So what drives you to uh pursue that degree of excellence? Because mm. it's excellent and it's good. Why? Why go that? I mean, why not just like tell a story like a boring narrative and a boring narration? Everything God does is excellent, right? And I believe as well that when God shares a vision with you or gives you a vision, it's it, his 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 perspective is so excellent, right? And and he expects that level of excellence. But then sometimes when he goes down our human mirror, like, oh my, we just run out like that, you know. And so um I really think that in in God's original plan is excellence, right? And and that is what we genuinely, really and truly should sh strive towards. Um, but I think especially with the Gideon one as well, it came with, with a lot of hard work on my path as well, right? So I'd read the Gideon story over and over in different translations. I had listened to sermons on Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> well, but this is but this this is what I do with other podcasts, right? Once once there is a character that comes to mind, I immerse my for weeks so, or you know maybe throughout the whole week, I just focus on that one, like meditate on that. You know, um, I read in different translations, I listen to different podcast sermons or like watch sermons in it, right? I have conversations with people about it, my friends. I'm like, oh. Imagine if, you know, imagine if, like, and it would be a really random conversation, you know, I was like, imagine if, da, 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 what do you think, you know, and then you will then hear different perspectives and be like, mm, two and two together, that's good, yes, you know, so I would, I would really just look for resources and then just sit still with it, you know, and say, Holy Spirit, X, Y, Z, 
this is how everything is coming together. And I, a core of my podcast as well is to constantly remind people that everything in the Bible is about Jesus. Mm. Everything, everything in the Bible is about the salvation plan. Like that's what, that's what God was driving at. Mm. All the stories in the Old Testament, mm. they were almost Everything was a foreshadow of Christ coming. And so even with stories, Old Testament stories, I typically would would then in explaining say, listen, guys, this is a nice story. But then this is how I was telling you about Jesus. You know, this is how God was trying to tell you that a savior is coming. Yeah. You know, something is nice and cute, but then he's trying to say that a savior is coming to rescue you from your bad behavior, you know, and, and just sin and, and death. Right. So that is the core of it. You know, and, and then we live in a really interesting generation. Like if it's not fun, if it's not exciting, yeah. I know who's going to listen to you, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, throwing cultural expressions, throwing different perspectives, you know, throwing sound, throwing great music, um, have different actors, different expressions, dexterity of voices, yeah. textures here yeah. and there. Yeah throwing like the core of God's word as well, yep. interpreting it, and boom, we have beautiful magic. Boom! <laughs> I don't know who killed me that. <laughs> All right. There are a couple of things I was, was going to ask. Before we go on a break, mm -hmm. let me ask, do you consider yourself to be a wise person? I believe that the spirit of wisdom, you know, the Holy Spirit does in, in me, you know, so... <laughs> I mean, I mean, hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, play, I didn't play. No, I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing. No, no, I'm not playing. No, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. All right. So what are like, what would you consider three of the wisest decisions you've ever made? In, mm, life? in my life. Definitely being born again. Definitely. Yeah, definitely being born again. That's, I think that's the most <laughs> I think that's like one, two. You know how people when they get married, mm -hmm. yeah, they'll be like, oh, next to Jesus, you're the best decision. I can't lie, I'm not married, so I can't relate on that one. <laughs> yeah, but um being born again. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> it's, that's wow. Subsequently, what otherwise decision have I made? Ha. Huh. This is, this is hard <laughs> because a lot of things are hinged on that. Yeah. <laughs> right? So a lot of decisions I've made following that are hinged on, the hinged on that premise. Yes. Yeah, so, but the reason I'm asking, mm. like, you want to get to know you better. Okay. I also want like some tactical things. Some people are not born again, mm. but they want to learn from you. And some people are born mm, again. That's good. And they still want to learn from you. Yeah, that's good. Right. So on both sides, they yeah. say people are born again. They're like, ah, see if I can get a podcast. Okay. Yeah. Give me sense. Well, I'm mm. trying to figure out this whole God. Yeah. Right. And then the other people who are born again. Yeah. But maybe they're stuck. Maybe yeah. They're born again, but I'm not a podcast. I don't have a career path. Yeah. So feel like I look good. Yeah. Like dress well. Speak well. Yeah. So I just want to know what are the decisions, mm. even those that premise okay, on others. your faith in Christ. Yeah. You know, what are okay. So this second one, it's 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 a continuous decision, right? And I would say generosity. Oh, right. So right. as opposed to an action as as opposed to like one action, mm. I think it's a value. Come on. Yeah, it's a value that is a wise decision, you know. <laughs> generosity um coming from a place that i recognize that everything i have i have been given yeah. you know um from from christ and then just with family and friends yeah. and so extending that love you know generosity in service mm -hmm. in words in action you know um yeah i think generosity would be that's amazing yeah mm -hmm. because you still have gifts today yeah <laughs> and this morning this is something you gifted me the really? Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Welcome. So generosity. Generosity so would be always generous in the city. A, yeah, yeah. In the city <laughs> and out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I see. I see. Okay, number three. Can I do two? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Can you do two? Is your name Tutu? A, no. Maria. Your name is Maria. So Maria. why do you want to do two? Two, 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 get. Okay. You didn't finish with the two two. Your name is not two two. And I said, can I do two two? 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I, I trust that you're drawing a lot of wisdom and inspiration from this so far. It is Mariam on the podcast today, sharing with us. There's still so much to come. Stay tuned as we appreciate and acknowledge our sponsors. And we'll be back. Joy lives in Accra, Ghana. Her son studies in the United States. Every month, she has to send $350 to him through her bank. Transfer fees and unfavorable exchange rates that put her total money transfer cost at over 12% are always levied against Joy. This is a very unpleasant and tiring experience for Joy. On the other side of the Atlantic is Kwame, an engineer who works in the United States. Kwame is a great son who loves his mother dearly. He sends $350 to his mother every month. He prefers to visit a physical store to make payments directly. Kwame has to deal with expensive fees and the horrible exchange rates, which are well below the interbank rate. But what if Joy could decide to pay Kwame's mother in Boku using domestic payment platforms like MTN Mobile Money, while Kwame could pay Joy's son in the United States using domestic platforms like PayPal or Zelle? Voila! No money crosses the border! Using the Kaoshi mobile app, Joy can post a request to send money to her son in the US. Kwame in the US can see this request on the Kaoshi app on his phone and match Joy's offer. They exchange payment details for their recipients. They sign into their local payment platform in their respective countries and make payment on behalf of each other. Now from the comfort of their homes, Joy and Kwame can send money to their loved ones. No more wahala! Welcome back. Thank you so much. Just want to celebrate and acknowledge our sponsors, those who have partnered with us to make wisdom viral mm. by putting their resources where our mouths are. <laughs> yeah. We acknowledge Global Greatness, a community of leaders, influencers, and business persons who are committed to their personal and business growth in a way that they can shape the world. We also have Genius X, our community, and guess what? The superstar right here. MDH, Part of it. then I was a member of Genius X. Yeah. So even if your ex is not a genius, you can still be a part of Genius X. Come on now. Acknowledge the community for being a part of this and dream stream, because in your streams to cause in your, your dreams, dreams to, to stream, stream. <laughs> <laughs> through consultant presentation, content creation, of course, dream space where your dreams come alive. So if you'd like to sponsor, partner with us, or add value in some way um, to what we're doing here to ensure that people are getting inspired and enriched and stretched and healed and motivated. Please contact us via plus 234-908-2234567 and we'll do great work together. All right, so we're going to continue right about now. You know, I just remembered, I remember like two other fantastic things that have been wise decisions in my Go life. <laughs> um, I think the core of this third one would be doing things afraid. Mm. We'd be doing things afraid, right? Mm. Like, and, 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 and that's so key. I remember in uni, I started a business. I was schooling in Leeds in England and I started a mm. Zobo business. No wonder. No wonder what. You were schooling in Leeds. So I'm leading. You know, exactly. Hey, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> and you're in the Leeds. Yeah. You uncover me. Uncover it. <laughs> but I, st I started I started a Zobo business, right? And it was so Zumba, Zobo. Oh, really? No, I used to make Zobo. And then, you know, I saw that Zobo was moving and I started making Asu as well. Asu awesome Yeah. Asu as Zobo, yeah. This posh girl. You've, you've done? Listen, <laughs> as, and my hashtag was as soon as possible. Are you serious? Get your, yes. Are you serious? <laughs> Listen. Because you know I used it for wipe up uh, pot, uh, paper. As soon as possible. As, yeah, as, as soon as possible. Yeah, as yeah. But well, this was like maybe what, that, yeah. 2016 there Amazing. about? Yeah. Wow. And so, and like, it just, I made Zubu one day. My friends are like, this is nice. I made another batch. They're like, this is nice. Had a couple friends taste it. They were like, this wow. is nice. This is, I was yeah. like, next week Sunday, I'm opening shop guys. <laughs> like <laughs> literally like a couple Sundays afterwards, you know, but, but I'd never, so I've never done that before. As the community your church. No, unfortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Subsequently, when I, when I moved to Southampton, I started again, right? I was then expanding and I used to supply this African, um, Western African, 
African shop. So they used to sell, you know, African goods and foods and, you know, condiments and things. And I used to supply them, right? So, but essentially, just starting afraid or like doing it afraid nonetheless, you, right? You make thousands of pounds. Not yeah, thousands, but like hundreds. Yeah, hundreds. Ah, now I don't remember. I don't remember my numbers, but like it was really profitable business. Yeah. Like I used to have people pre order. There, I had, I had, you know, I had people at church. They had steady on every Sunday. Do you have a recipe or... I mean, I had my own recipe. You know, I no, tried a number of things. Oh, like that. Like, you know, blend a couple things here and there. Come on. <laughs> blend, no blend. <laughs> That's so, what I had a time. <laughs> Is it, what are you doing? Yeah, a blend. A, a, a drop of blood. <laughs> no, please don't spoil my kids. <laughs> Well, essentially just, you know, doing things afraid, right? I remember another time I wanted to run for the Nigerian Student Society, mm. right? So I was going to run for vice president, Seth. Mm. And I call up my friend and he's like, why run for VP? I was like, no, there's someone else who's like, run for president. It's like, what are you doing? I was like, no, but what if I don't? He was like, have you met you? Like, oh tell your friends no, to pull up, you know? He was like, have you met you? you? Met you? I was like, yeah. I was like, no, but there's competition. He was like, girl run for that thing you know and as much as i felt like i wasn't going to win but in front of people i was like marion for president yes or yes you know and i mean oh like president carla is cute politics i do think i have a heart for people and a heart to you know change things or make things better so you think there's a slight possibility i think i think I right, really so think, guys, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> thank you very much. Right. Yeah, we'll talk to us now. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, remember, listen, we'll play this clip. Pidams, we'll play this clip. When they like, when did the aspiration start? Of it, twenty twenty December. <laughs> oh, what year? <laughs> President, listen, Lisa. come on now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic it would be beautiful to see god to see god's glory just shine through that yeah. you know yeah it would, it would be fantastic but let's backtrack we've got we've gone far amen 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 thank you amen so i was i was going to run for vice president right and my friend says why are you afraid run for president and i'm running i begin to I, you know i switch up say i'm going to run for president guess what the person that's running for president says she's going to step down that oh my god how is she going to run against mariam are you serious and, yeah and, and oh, she steps down that, and she says you know she doesn't think she'll win and she runs for vp instead wow. And so I was like, mad, <laughs> you know? So I think wow. sometimes we underestimate who we think we are. Like the question really is, have you met you? Come on, that's, you a, know. that's a powerful line. Have you met, have you? You, met you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that that changed so many things for me, wow. you know. Go, go, go ahead. Can I? Yes, you can. <laughs> have you met you? That's powerful. Yeah. There's a lot you can do with that book. For you to meet you, many times you have to look into the mirror. Yeah. So you have to see the mirror. You have to see me raw. Me raw. Come on now. Uh, Your raw state. Yeah. As in not R A W R O R M E R A W. I see that. Yeah. I went to M E R O A R. Come on. That's right. That's right. Me, oh. me okay, right me, listen well. listen it's plenty. It's, plenty it's plenty oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's boring <laughs> no but that's so good yeah I, I think that story is so powerful mm -hmm. it's a major anchor like yeah some things that you're trying to shy away from mm -hmm. are just waiting for you to step up yeah so you stepped up and she stepped and down, she stepped down. And guess what you were a transformer so that made you a step up transformer. Mm -hmm. And that's how the company was light all over the country. Electricity. Can you yeah. talk about that? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like, can you talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, but absolutely. absolutely. I, 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 so I, did, I didn't won, see. Right? Oh, I did. I, yeah, I did so win. Yeah. Years it was a fantastic time. I think that. So, one thing that I was able to achieve that, you know, previous 
presidents or committees hadn't achieved before, I was able to bridge the gap between the students, the Nigerian students and the Nigerian community. So the bigger community, right, that had like professionals. And so once I bridged that gap, I was then able to say, oh, you guys that are working, do you have internship opportunities for students, right? Do you have job opportunities? Do you have volunteering opportunities? And so the occasion, maybe during breaks, I would then um, would then have students intern maybe in their offices or um, at work. You know, I remember so, some of them like had part time jobs mm. with these people, right? And then whenever we were having programs, we would make do VVIP seats, and they would buy. They would oh. always come through and support, right? So we then had a really fantastic working relationship mm. um, that we built. So I think that was one of the, like, the most fantastic. And some of them were, were now like big mommies and daddies to me. They now became so my my, my graduation. I had a table for just older people. And I remember my mom calling me. I said, ma'am, how do you know these people? How do you have like 50 year olds and 60 year olds, you know, you know, at your party and really just speaking well and highly of you and kindly of you. I was like, how do you like, how old are you again? <laughs> you know? So I think that, um, it was really just a platform to network with people, to meet the needs of students as well, yeah. you know, to give back to the society. I remember one of, one of the things we did Valentine's day, one of the campaigns we ran was, um, in love with Nigeria. Right. And we had people do videos of like national anthem and then also donate clothes and shoes and things, right? Like when you love someone, you give, right? So we had people donate so many things and then we send them to, I think IDP camps in Nigeria. Wow. So, yes, it was just a really, really fantastic time of service for me, meeting people, networking, meeting needs of students, partnering with different organizations and just making the lives of like Nigerian students in these at the moment much better. So, fantastic. You did quite a lot. That's, that's really impressive. Thank you. Yeah, it's the way you just keep it together. Sounds like my manifesto now, you know. You know. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but me, I just like the way, you know, I said earlier, yeah. that maybe you should have been a horticulturist. Because I know how to take my flowers. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Like, so I like the fact you're very accomplished. Mm. Yeah, but you're not proud I, I don't, I mean, I, then, I still so much. Stuff, you own your stuff. Mm, yeah. so you, you, like, you don't do that false humility thing, you're not proud So I think that's really cool. Thank you. Now, you said people speak well of you, right? Yeah. So, because when you're well, People will speak, speak well, well, of you, well. Of you. Well, 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 moving on to hey, well, well. Well, you've not always gotten it right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you made some wise decisions. Thanks for sharing with us. What are some dumb decisions that you can afford Definitely. to share with us? Have you had two or three dumb stuff you've done? They're like, mm, I can throw this out there. Like, don't get like that. <laughs> you know, all those mm. stuff about like, looking at your youngest yeah. stuff, like five years Why ago, did I do that? Ago, yeah. Maybe even last year. Listen. I think so one one I was literally at the brink of making the decision, right? And then my best friend was like, Are you are you, are you okay? Like Slapped like she friends. slapped slapped my senses back like like that. So still um still God <laughs> <laughs> So when I was in uni I knew that I didn't want to be in a relationship and I used to say that to my really close friends, right? But I also knew I wanted to have a good time. I knew that I wanted to hang out with people. You know, if you kind of liked me and you wanted to hang and I was free, let's go out for dinner. Talk to me, you know. And I remember um, after, I think, the ball we had, the Nigerian Society ball we had, right? They were like this friend, this acquaintance, you know, and this his friend. And we've been talking here and there. And it was late at night, but the ball went so well, you know. And I just felt like, oh. I needed to chill. And these guys were like, you know what? Let's go out. You know, let's go out. Let's go to the pub. I think have some drinks, you know, have a good time type of thing. And I was like, yeah, let's make that happen. Bear in mind that I didn't really know these guys like that. Right. But I was like, what's the worst that can happen? Like, we're going to have a good time. I know my way around town. I know. Right. I literally. And then I come home. Then I was leaving my best friend. So I come home and I dropped my bags and I was like, oh, I'm heading out. She was like, heading out to where? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going for I'm going for drinks or something with this. And she's like, for what? Like, <laughs> she sat me. I was like, guys, you're waiting for me. I was like, she was like, you're not going anywhere, you know. And and to be fair, I think as well because I'm a very spontaneous person, yeah. um, and I, and I've seen yeah, so I've seen my spontaneity 
um, not really help me make the right decisions. Like I've made really silly decisions just because of how spontaneous I've, I've been. So for instance, I've committed to things that I probably shouldn't really have committed to, you know, um, I've maybe committed to people as well, or like just volunteered for things or, um, or just made couple friends out of spontaneity that I probably shouldn't really be friends with, you know? So, um, I think for me, that was like, I think, and, and I'm still working my way through yeah. that, yeah. right? Trying to say, you know what, well, like, it's nice to be spontaneous, but then have common sense, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyways, I remember that night, right? Because it was really such a turning point for me as well. I was like at the brink of making, she was like, do you know what the time is? I was like, yeah, it's kind of like 2, 1 a.m. She's like, good. <laughs> Right. Where are you going to? I was like, we're going to like a nice pub or like a restaurant or something. With who? I'm like, Tundi and maybe Dio. She was like, what are the surnames? I was like, um, I don't really know the surnames like that. She's like, what did they do? I'm like, well, that. And she asked me so many questions. And she was like, go and tell them it's a no. Right. And so also just say, on a take a shout out to you, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, I started saying, what if they kidnap you? What? If, I mean, I was like, it's not that deep, but like this is why it's good to grow up in Nigeria. So I mean, yeah, right? Because well, <laughs> that's a Nigerian she, man I was speaking. I can't about. lie, I can't lie. But she just gave me so many scenarios, right? And really like had me sit down mm. and evaluate yeah. the basis of my decisions, right? Yeah. So um just on that basis, on that foundation, there's been so many a couple of things I've I've done and I'm just like, this is out of spontaneity. Yeah. And it's nice and it's cute, but uh, then it's not sustainable, yeah. right? So I think a couple of my decisions, like a couple of my mistakes, yeah. Even like with some friendships, sometime last year, August, I was in NYC camp. Listen, listen, friendships I made that I should, what, what was I doing? <laughs> what, was I, what was I doing? Um, but then I'm, I'm better for it. Yeah. I, I believe that I'm better for it, right? And and it's helped me. It's helped me also just be accountable to mm -hmm. friends as well. When I know that I'm about to make a decision on a whim, yes, I then say, yo, this is what I'm thinking. You know, recently, what, two days ago, um, someone had someone had worked on a project with someone and she was like, you know, I really would want you to work in this full time, but remotely, mm -hmm. right? But I knew that I had so many other engagements mm -hmm. and I really loved that project, but I knew that in that moment I would have said yes. Yeah. But then I reached out to my friend. I spoke with my friend. I was like, yo, this is what this person is saying. And I'm like, my friend, you can't say no. <laughs> you know? So yeah, oh, so that that that's yeah. So you've to say no. I'm learning you've to learned say no. I don't know that I've learned learned. yet. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning to well, say no and say also yes, just less right. <laughs> and balance spontaneity as well with yeah, yeah common sense and that's everything else. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. We're about to Land the aircraft. Oh my god. Yeah. But let's talk about a couple of things you're creative. Yeah. And I think um you should speak to a younger generation, a mm -hmm. younger generation of mm -hmm. people who have a lot of ideas. Yeah. What possibly are spontaneous as you yeah. are. I tend to be spontaneous mm -hmm. as well, but I'm very structured. So yeah. I can find balance yeah. between my spontaneity within a context. Mm -hmm. Right. And then putting my context and spontaneity. So it's that there's like these graphs I work in my head. Mm -hmm. What would you say to somebody who feels like I'm all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. I have, I can do this, I can do that, yeah. I have this, I have that, I've mm -hmm. been here, I've been there, mm -hmm. but I need to be focused on my life, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. So what, how do you counsel somebody who's either like watching this now, yeah. or who follows you online and goes, ah, this girl, she has vibes, mm -hmm. she has sex, mm -hmm. she has this. You know, what can I do? Fantastic question. Such a brilliant question. I think that I'm 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 still on the journey to to crystallizing that, so to speak, right? But then so far, I would so say start out nice. with a so <laughs> <laughs> I would say start out with writing it down. Yeah. Right? Get a piece of paper, big piece mm -hmm. of paper. Draw different lines. Write down all the things that you do for, like excellently, mm. excellently. So, you know, one subheading could be fashion mm. and then on a fashion, right? Content creating, styling, designing, all of it, write it down. Another one, podcasting, what's your podcasting? Write it down, right? So I think, so once, once you write down everything as much as possible, you will then have a visual representation. Oh it would be less, less quartered in, yes. your, in your mind, right. right? So write, 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 write it down, essentially, right? And then think about it again. What is your goal? Do you want to make money? Or you just you just want to have fun? You know? 
oh, you just want to be impactful. You know, you just want to share. Like, what? genuinely, I think the next thing would be, why? You know, like, what? Are, so if you want to make me be like, okay, out of everything I've written down, what is the most profitable? Is it my fashion? Is it my content? Is it my creating? So you then, I think it would then be helpful to align your abilities with your big goal, right? Mm -hmm. So if your goal is to be impactful and to, to give wisdom, right? If you can do that with fashion, fantastic. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if the best way to do that, and that's like the desire of your heart, mm -hmm. if it's content creating and you can accomplish that, well, that's your purpose. So mm -hmm. essentially just a lot, like, what 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 are, what's the strongest skill or talent or ability in alignment with your purpose yes, and yes, yeah in alignment with your purpose and vision yeah. right um so I think yeah once you figure that out it would have sift it would, it would help sift a couple things in mm -hmm. it right yeah. then you think, okay yeah. well maybe this one I'm using this one is for pleasure yes yes so that way I reckon you probably would have maybe two like three things maybe yeah. right um. Three, three, maybe like three things. You just gave a workshop. I did. Yeah. Rubbing my coins off your basket. <laughs> <laughs> You just, just, just ran a workshop. Right? I think, yeah. And and because of your work, somebody gets a shop. So, come on now. You push around my coins, offering. <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe. You want a bit of coins or no coins? Dollars. Those are coins. You want bitcoins? Say bitcoins. Ooh. Bitcoins. I think dollars in my account for I think yeah, it's dollars. No, it's a dollar. Let me say something. Yeah, I, I think um another helpful thing would be to have conversations with people. Good. Right? Have conversations with your friends and then meet a need. Mm. Right. So I think one one important way to stay relevant is when you keep meeting a need. Mm. Why do you need supermarkets? They meet you like you're able oh. to come and buy what you need. Oh, right. Yeah. Um why are you going to church? Like there's a spiritual need that is being met. Oh, right. Going to hospital, health need that is being met. So yeah. um for relevance there's a need that should be met. And it could really be entertainment, but you're meeting mm. a need. There are many sad people or just people that yeah. need some chair. Yeah. Or, yeah. So having, and, uh, <laughs> so have conversations with people, right? Identify needs and meet them as yeah. well. So that would really just help tailor your skills, your ability into, um, you know, what you're most passionate about, into your goal, your purpose, and then meeting a need and perhaps profit as well. That's what I think. Beautifully said. I really love the pra the practicality of it. Like mm. people can it's something they can do right now. Yeah. Like, take a brush sheet and then sketch on the fly. Mm -hmm. I also counsel people that whenever you have a lot of ideas in your head, you yeah. need to do a bread dog first. Mm, yeah. Because things always appear more complicated mm -hmm. when it's all in your head. Absolutely. When you present it externally, you're like, okay. I guess yeah. Like, and I, I think that works as well with emotions as well. Yeah. So sometimes, like, I, I don't know if, you know, sometimes you feel... There's just so much going on in your head, right? You're feeling a lot, like, like it's kind of like just a feeling period, right? So it would also be helpful. Take a sheet of paper, yeah. write down what you're feeling, yeah. possibly bullet points, right? And then you'll be able to tie them into like larger subheadings, you know, and just say, okay, mm, I'm feeling anger. I'm feeling this. One interesting thing that this has helped me achieve, right? So sometimes when, when, when I'm feeling very angry, I then take a pause and say, Maram, why are you angry? Yeah. And seventy percent of time is because I'm hungry. <laughs> like <laughs> genuinely. So, so yeah. You and angry. Is it hungry? My, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. So so you know, just putting down your asking yourself questions, why, 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 why 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 do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way? This is how I feel. Have a brain dump. It would help you identify your emotions and manage them as well. Yeah. Coming from so, someone who used to be very angry. <laughs> Absolutely. From Absolutely. Ex anger addict. Mm -hmm. Angry what? Oh, what? from an ex angry <laughs> angry bird. <laughs> angry human. An angry bird. Yeah, yeah. Food definitely okay. comes so down back here. Then you're gonna be like an angry bird mm -hmm. you now. And gree bird. And agree. Yeah. G R. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Agree. Yeah. To agree. Now, as a so I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Then upon the Lord shall mount over wings. Go on now. My soul is screaming like a bird. Go on now. Out of the snow, the fall is like a bird. Preach to me. And you agree. Come so, on. And agree, word. It's a word. It's a word for me. It's a word. <laughs> 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 All right, we're about to let. Let me just say this. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Let's say you had one minute to speak to the whole world right yeah. now. Yeah. What would you say? What would you tell somebody watching this in Yugoslavia 
or in Cancun or in Malibu or wherever, somewhere. Solomon Islands, Kuishiba Valley, whatever, wherever they Kuishiba are. Valley? Yeah. Jeroboam <laughs> 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 Quotas. <laughs> so, two things, right? Um, my first instinct would be to really genuinely see that you're so loved. Wow. You're so loved. You're so loved. And you're so loved. You're so loved by God. Right. Whether you believe it or not, whether you know or not, you're so loved by God and, and he cares about you. Right. And he has such a beautiful plan for you. So amidst the confusion, amidst the fear, there's someone literally saying, I love you so much. Come and talk to me about it. Right. So there's that one. Right. So there's that one. The second one, you can't do it all. You can't. Eh? you can't do it whoever said you you can't do it you can do it right so in the face of fear in the face of adversity you really can't do it it's in you you are capable okay you are, there is nothing you cannot do you need to tell that to yourself i need to believe that there is nothing that is bigger than me there is nothing that i cannot understand there is nothing that I cannot comprehend that I cannot explain that I cannot there is nothing right so you're capable right so whatever it is that new challenge that new task that new friend that new job yes you can excuse like <laughs> you can so run it and run it confidently don't act like you're shy pretend like you're confident yeah pretend like you're confident because nobody's gonna know all right and you can do it so run it like run it confidently i think those be my two you're loved and you can do it that's so powerful yeah so you brought sweetness and then strength yes i was gonna be like violence, <laughs> <laughs> yes, violence. That's violence. all right yeah thank you so much for this has been such a thank thrill. you I, that. i'm so sure that you spoke to people today I trust God. I mean, your unique style, the, the weight of the wisdom, mm. undeniable and so easy to digest. So thank you so much for that. Thank you, Pia. Well, we're back. We're going to play a game and I hope that you bring all that sass and style to the game and Let's that you're able to deliver 100%. Let's get it. 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 to the final stretch and this is the funnest stretch okay right? fun stretch funnest funnest okay is that it fun fun or funnest <sighs> i got it oh wow so the next I evolution know. of us now will be gonest 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 <laughs> i got it i got it that's where it goes from <laughs> all right now this is the longest stretch okay but you know i'm gonna stretch her but she's not going to end up on a stretcher. Yeah. A stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm ready for this. Now, you are the one who said this. You are the one who said, they can do it. Say, they can do it. They can do it. So, can you do it? You guys, I went to school. I'm educated. Yeah. You know, whatever whatever this game so is, is I'm just saying, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, before we go into that, what do you think about white people? podcast why post the white people thing movement i think it's very exciting it's a really fantastic play of words and wisdom and wit because like your caption you know give it like four paragraph caption like that but well, then you're not giving sight you put scripture you garnish it you know a little sprinkle of it, maybe kiss daniel something said something you know <laughs> you just confuse us here and there. i hope to you know i hope to what's i think that you com complete your debates with i hope but i convince you i don't convince you. that's right you something work <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah i think it's absolutely creative i love that um you know, from, from one thing, just white paper posts yeah. or white paper wisdom. It's, it's now so many things. There's white paper merch, yeah. white paper podcast, you know, um, we're having like, white it's just night. birthing white night. If you missed white night, mm, I'm judging you. I'm <laughs> judging you because it's so up, fantastic. Uh, I'm glad. So yeah, but it's fantastic stuff. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for all the accolades. So I'm looking for your questions and I hope that it's sent me some tough ones. All right, so the, this first part, this first game, you are expected to fill in the blanks. Okay. Knowing the way I think and the way I construct this thing. So okay. I'm going to read a real post I did. Oh, yeah. 
you say you're testing my loyalty. You say marry me, sabi or you know sabi. They follow me, or you know they follow me. Okay. Right, but I want to make sure that there's one that is not like crazy out there, like just because there's some that are a bit technical. Mm-hmm. So let's find the ones that are not too technical. Um, excuse me. <laughs> These are very interesting ones. Kind of, I'm very tempted to just open your Instagram and be like, and just, and you just. What do you call it? Invisha. You know what, teacher? The last minute. When the, the teacher entered the class and said, tear a sheet of paper. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, let's see. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. You choked too much. <laughs> Don't even skip it. <laughs> All right, it's like simple. I'll give, I'll give one that's simple and one that's hard. <laughs> All right. So let's see what I get this one. Mm. Those who pray without season don't become dash in any dash. Two things come to mind. I know there's a play of words on season and pray. So there's P R E Y. Yeah, those who pray in any season don't become pray. pray. In not in season. No, no, no. In any no. <laughs> with the season one. <laughs> Is this season again? No, it's not season again. <laughs> Is it? Without season. C E A S I N G. Without stopping. Oh. Don't become I, pray. In any season. Yes, now. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, yeah. If if it was written down, yes. That, that's the, then we got prayed any season. Oh, okay, you got that. That's that's simple. All right. Let me let me. I just find one that. No, it don't have to be complex. <laughs> it should be like some people's relationships, right? Take it. It shouldn't be like some people's relationships. It's that complicated. complicated. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're not prayed to predators because we pray to the one who pray again, say again, say again. we're not pray to any predator because we pray to the one who starts with p <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm right with something predator we're not prey to any predators because you pray to the one who's the protector. Very close, close. but to the one who mm. who Like, why I was doing your hand like in the front? So, like, if I demonstrate something, like, yeah. so is that what this means? <laughs> like, I was like, it's good to see. But like, this is good. <laughs> uh, so the one who, <laughs> the one who, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> help me. I'm done, protector. Yeah, yeah, boys. The number of syllables and mm. the flow of words sounds like that, but it's different. But it rhymes. We're not prey to predators because we pray to the one who mm-mm, us who predicts us. Ah! Ah! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> took a minute. Us. Yeah, it took a minute. Took a minute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice play. Nice play. You tried. Thank I'll you. I give like a seven, six, seven point five percent on that. Now, this one, you have to kill it. It's going to be 100. Oh. This next one, okay. I'm going to give you two key words. Okay. And you're supposed to come with your own white people. Uh, you know, just, do you know what's funny? <laughs> when we were, no, you know, it was one of the games we played at White, 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 white Night. Night. 
my table. Phil and I, Phil, I'm calling you out, but <laughs> my friend Fido, we sat together. I was like, Fido, let's write for that. I don't worry, don't worry. When people write, we'll gauge it. We'll be the one to score it. So as people were reading theirs, I'm like, zero. <laughs> it was very oh, much. We were like, ah, that one means 10, 10, 10 over 10. <laughs> we didn't write our yeah, own, right, but our right, voices right. were the loudest. Like, <laughs> right, <congratulations. laughs> okay. All right, so. All right, so I know you can kill this. I want to kill it. Let's go. You're not just going to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. You're going to kill it. Hey, let me run away. That's good. That's good. You just give it a shot. I'm going to kill it. Kill it. All right, I got right, you. Let's go. I got you. Right, yeah. Let's make it happen. Yeah. All right. So, two words. Okay. Mariam mm -hmm. and light up. Because. Your brand name is like yeah. well, well, one of your brand names, so you must have Mariam and light up mm. in whatever you, you're coming up with. Right? It's got to be witty and makes sense. So you have a minute to, to do it, but if you go beyond a minute, we got you. So. Okay. You know, you know how you you tell your friend it's collaboration. It's collaboration allowed in this. <laughs> supposed to be original, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> Okay. Tell us what you get. Tell us what Should you get. Should I read it out? Oh, you want to read it out? Can you tell us what you get? Okay, okay. Tell us what you get. Can hey, you tell us what hey. you get? Can Come on. Hey. So, it's a masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, man, masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> Can only be seen here. Uh, yeah. Right. How is it? Okay. <clears throat> okay. I would love to marry her because her name is Mariam. Mm. She lights up my world and I'll fight for her on oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on period. <laughs> Ten drop, mark a drop. Is That's drop, right. Mark a drop. <laughs> I would love to marry her because her name is Mariam. Mm -hmm. And she lights up my world. I'll fight for her on oh God. On oh God. You know how you like <laughs> That was that was my last sentence. I said, "How would I fit it in? How would I make it with him and rhyme?" Oh, <laughs> oh you know, call on the name of the Lord. <laughs> 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 
So literally called, called him. Called him. I, need, I can't go right. <laughs> if he said he's wrong, I said, no, my God, is never wrong. <laughs> that's good. That was, that's good. That's good, I mean. That's good. That's good. All right. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. For taking much precious time. Like, I know, I have an idea. Maybe I don't know the full. Yeah. Bit, but I have an idea of how sacrificial mm -hmm. it was, how much yeah. sacrifice it was for you to be here. And I'm really happy that you took all the time. I'm glad I can. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for being a part of so many things I've done in the last eight, ten months. There yeah. Thank you for being present. Thank you for being a mm -hmm. friend. Thank you for being a supporter, for being a fan. Cheerleader. What else have you been? Oh, Sister in Christ. Sister in Christ. Yeah. That's uh, icy. It makes you sick. Hey. No, no sick in a good way. No, no, sick in a good way. Yeah, yeah sick in a good way. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sick you first. The Kindle. The Kindle. Mm, that's good. Thing, shall we? Add it on to me. All right, let's add this. <laughs> let's yeah. Get on the side <laughs> Do follow our social media our handles and listen to a podcast yeah. and all the amazing things she's going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Now, this is somebody to watch out for because she's going to make a massive difference in the world. She's already doing that in some ways, but I know it's going to get better. Mm -hmm. In the early days, you're going to evolve mm -hmm. and then grow in strength and capacity and mm -hmm. reach and influence in reach and in riches and in influence and affluence. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you for being a part of my podcast. I appreciate this. Thank you so, so much. Ladies and gentlemen, keep Thank telling you. your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your uh, spiritual community members. Let people know that there's something juicy that has happened here. So even though they might not be Jews, they can see because it's juicy, right? And they might juicy, not to throw more. <laughs> okay so like this post a comment mm -hmm. engage uh the share this on all the platforms subscribe to youtube channel be a part of the community take advantage of the special offers we look forward to growing with you and helping you grow your gifts your abilities your insights your talents and all of that until the next episode have a great time Bye. make wisdom viral be right. grateful but don't be grateful because you are great and full of the goodness of God. I'll see you next podcast. My name is Daniel Watuini. Talk to you soon. This episode of White Paper Podcast is proudly sponsored by Kaoshi. Kaoshi, your go to for international money transfers. Convenient, affordable, made for you. www.kaoshi.network.